Well, I'm going to be planting some peas with my, this is an old Earthway, I believe it's Earthway garden cedar. I've had it, gosh, 20 years, maybe 30. We've got some uh, uh, purple hull and some zipper cream, the zipper cream and purple hull. I got some seed from Hoss Tools and some, um, I just need a little more seed, so I got some at the uh, feed store, but that those zipper cream, those are 2018. Uh, I had those left over and more. Eh, I think it's all of them from 2018. So we'll plant the purple hulls as far as they'll go. Swap over to zipper cream. It's going to be so hot outside. I don't know how much of it I can get on film before my phone overheats. But um, we'll get some of it and uh, show you how I'm, I'm doing this. Going to plant the rows. My wife wants them wide. So we we'll plant the rows about five feet apart. I've been planting them close and she doesn't have a good walkway and she just, she wants them wide, okay? So we're gonna do five foot rows and uh, or thereabouts. Normally I walk them off with a, with a string and make sure they're straight and perfect. It's just too gum hot. It's about 95 degrees. I'm sweating all over myself and the camera and everything else. So we're gonna try to get this done. <laughs> As quick as dead gum possible. Planting peas on the farm. Well, I planted the three rows of purple hulls as far as I went. You saw me go over uh, and replant a second time on two of the different rows, and I was just using up the peas that I had in the hopper. Uh, I don't want to carry those over because it wasn't, there just wasn't very many. So next, I'm going to plant some zipper cream. It's going to be exactly the same way. I'll get a little bit of footage of it, but um, I'm, uh, let me answer a question or two that you may have right now before I continue. You're probably asking yourself, yourself, why in the world is this guy that's in Texas planting peas, waiting until middle of July to plant his peas? Well, I'm fixing to plant some corn too. Um, it has been my experience that a fall garden, or what's called a fall, fall garden, which means you'll be harvesting your crop closer to fall than you do in the spring and summer. Fall gardens have less... Uh, pest load uh, I just don't see a big problem with with pests in the in the fall garden I grew some corn last year in the fall and had very little uh, if any earworm and I had a ton of earworm damage even though I treated for earworms in the spring the spring corn I planted so uh, as long as peas now these are southern peas not English peas or those things, I don't like, those things are poison. I don't like those things. But anyway, these are southern peas. And as far as southern peas go, uh, black eyes, purple hulls, zipper cream, uh, crowders, uh, things like that, they love the heat. Now, they got to have some water, but they do love the heat. So I don't think there's going to be a problem. I've never had a problem with them growing in the summertime as long as they had water. Yes, I'm probably going to have to water them. And uh, I, I, I waited a little while because we were getting so much rain. June was just a rainy, rainy month. But now it looks like it, looks like it stopped and it's going to be summertime. So I'm going to get the peas in the ground. I'll pro I don't know. I'll probably plant maybe three rows of these zippers. Uh, I've got enough to plant more than that. But uh, I will see. I, I, may, uh, I may just double up, go over the row, uh, go over the rows twice and um, plant them twice. Uh, plant... Uh, Double seeds in the row is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I need to kind of get rid of the seed. It's 2018, and it'll probably keep another year or two, but why not get rid of it? Uh, anyway, I'm going to plant the zipper creams. I'll try to get some footage of that. Again, it is hot, and this camera does not like the heat. So we'll see We'll see how it goes. I didn't show you this, but on the on the Earthway, Earthway Cedar, <clears throat> basically you just put the seeds in this hopper. Big, pretty big hopper. Uh, probably holds... I don't know, probably two pounds of, of seed, thereabouts, maybe more. 
Uh, and then this uh, this little thing here comes and picks up the seed, just like a, kind of like a water wheel. It comes by and scoops up a seed and drops it down in a hole that you can't see down at the bottom. And it comes out that little chute on the bottom. It comes out that chute right there. And that little doodad right there, and I've only got two hands, so I can't, maybe I can turn it over and show you. That little doodad right there is how you set the depth on it. This little chain comes behind it, supposedly covers it up, <clears throat> covers up the, the seed, drags behind it and covers the, uh, throws some dirt on the seed that you can. So this sets your depth. I've got it set at about an inch and uh, fill up the hopper and pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Explanat explanatory? Pretty self-explanatory. Just fill up the, fill up the hopper and get after it. Let me plant, uh, I don't know, maybe three rows of Three rows of zipper cream. I do love me some zipper cream now. Don't be gonna get me wrong. My wife likes the purple hull, and I do too, but my favorite, zipper cream. Okay, so that's planting the peas. Um, again, it's hot. That gum, it's 90, 95 degrees. Sweat just glistening off of me. And if y'all don't mind, I'm gonna wait plant corn tomorrow. <laughs> In fact, if y'all do mind, I'm gonna wait and plant corn tomorrow. Anyway, just let me show you real quick. Uh, most of you know this, but uh, some of you may not. And that is, how this uh, works. I showed you how the, they come pick up the uh, the seed and put it down in there. But they have different plates for each um, uh, size seed. They've got a pea plate, uh, corn plate. And, uh, I'm looking over there. It came with about six or seven plates, different plates. So uh, this would probably plant corn. It would plant them pretty dang close together. Uh, the other, the corn plate has four holes in it where this one has, gosh, a dozen, 15, something like that. So anyway, um, look down in there a little better. Uh, so we're planting, we're through planting peas. I'll now at this you. point, it is up to me to make sure they stay watered because if I don't water them, they're not gonna do well and that's gonna be on me and not on Hoss Tools or anybody else. So uh, we're gonna go in the house and uh, try to wipe some of that sweat off. Might even take a shower, you know? I just might take a dead gum shower, what do you think? uh planting peas some of you think it's a uh, not a good time but i encourage you to try a fall garden and uh, if you're up north you got a short growing season you can't do that maybe but um, if you're in the south try a fall um, fall garden and start planting some things now like corn peas uh shoot you can plant tomatoes peppers everything right now you're gonna have to water it but you can plant it and i think it does better i think the bug load is is less and I think you'll do better, um, or at least as well. So certainly get to, if you've gone, gone to all the trouble to uh, fix your garden beds, fertilize this and that, compost and all that stuff, uh, why not get two crops out of it, right? Right. All right. Woo, it's hot. We're gone. Sound like Stony Ridge, didn't it? Woo. Stony Ridge. Woo. Texas Pepper. Woo. That just doesn't work, does it? All right. I love Stoney. We'll see. <laughs> we go.